Hi and welcome to my math class. Today we're doing the theorem that says the line segments joining the midpoint of two sides of a triangle. So since they're telling us a line segment, they're talking of this line. It is joining the midpoint. So when they say midpoint, it means that AD is equal to DB and AE is equal to EC. They are not telling us that AD is equal to AE. It's the midpoint, it means it's cutting the line AB in half and it's cutting the line AC in half. It joins the midpoint of two sides of a triangle. Then it is parallel. Now this is what they want you to prove. That it is parallel to the third side. This would be considered the third side. And it is equal to half of the third side. Now this is a proof that you need to know. Okay, And the reason that you would give when you're doing riders is midpoint theorem. How do we go proving this? First of all, we need to say what was given to us. We are given triangle ABC. We are also given that D and E are midpoints. Right, so we're given that the triangle ABC and we're given that D and E are midpoints of AB and AC. What do they want us to prove? They want us to prove that DE is parallel to BC and they also want us to prove that DE is equal to half of BC. Right, now how do we go about doing this proof? First you need to construct because when they give you this drawing, they are not going to give you EFC. So what we can do is, we are going to construct line FC, but look at how we are going to construct it. We are going to make it so that it is parallel to DB. So we are constructing it and we are going to say, listen, I would like to make this line parallel to this line. Then we are going to construct line EF. Now let us start. How do we go about proving it? Right. First, if you look at triangle ADE and triangle EFC, if we made it parallel, then we are saying that this angle F is equal to this angle D because it's forming a Z. But there's also another Z. So from that Z, I can say that the C, let's make it 1 and 2, C1 is equal to angle A. So which two triangles are we working at? We are working in triangle ADE and triangle CFE. What do we have? We have that angle A is equal to C1. Why? It is alternate angles and I have that AB is parallel to CF. Then I have that AE is equal to EC. That was given to us right in the beginning. They gave us that it was the midpoints and since it was the midpoints, it is equal. And we have the last angle that D Let's make it D1. D1 is equal to F. Again, alternate angles. Why? Because AB is parallel to CF. Now, if they parallel, then I can immediately say that these two triangles, so triangle ADE is congruent to triangle CFE. And if they are congruent, then AD, now this is what you're saying, okay, now I've proved they're congruent. So, if these two angles would be equal, okay, it's the remaining angle, but you should know your congruency very well. These two angles are equal, but from congruency, I can say that AD is equal to CF. AD is equal to 
CF because it's a deduction from congruency. Remember what congruency? If you prove that it's congruent, then the remaining sides and the remaining angles are equal, which means AD is equal to CF, and likewise E1 would equal to E2, and EF will equal to DE. Let us fill what we have. We know that FC is parallel to DB. We also know that AD is equal to DB, AE is equal to EC. And now, from congruency, we know that AD is equal to FC. We also know that DE is equal to EF. And remember, once you prove congruency, you can immediately prove the opposites. Now, if you look here, what do we have here? We have that one side is parallel and equal. So therefore, we can now say that DFBC is a parallelogram. Why? Because one side is parallel and equal. We started off by making it parallel and we've just proven that they're equal by congruency. Now if it's parallel, then we know DF has to be parallel to BC because that is a property of a parallelogram which is one of the things we had to prove. So this is one of the things we had to prove. We had to prove that DE is parallel to BC. So DE is parallel to BC but DE is line DEF. So we've just done the first part. We've proven that DE is parallel to BC. Now how do we prove that DE is half of BC? Okay, we've got that DF is equal to BC. Why? It's opposite sides of a palm. But DE and EF make up DF. So two of DE make up DF and that is going to equal to BC. Now if you divide by two then you've got that DE is equal to a half of BC. And that is what you were asked to prove. Thank you for watching.